I'm Jeremy from Next Ride. I'm taking Minister Mambuket, Fahima, and Adam, and we're going on a road trip all the way from Halifax to Sydney in this electric car. Let's go. So we're on the road, so let's talk a little bit about the EV basics. In Nova Scotia, we have a full charging infrastructure. It goes from Yarmouth to Sydney. We have 14 fast charging stations, and those are the stations that you want to use when you're going long distances. 85% of the charging is done at home. If you have a short commute, you can just use a regular 110 volt outlet. So imagine waking up every single morning with the ability to do 383 kilometers. at my gauge now there's 246 kilometers to the end of uh, the charge there's certain levels of charging we're going to use a level 3 fast charging station in Stellarton that's the fastest charging stations that this card can access it charges at a rate of up to 250 kilometers of range that's added per hour of charging when we're going to stop we're not going to stop for that long we'll probably stop for about 20 minutes okay very good So from a cost perspective, the expense of operating an EV versus the you know, expense of operating a traditional vehicle. One of the greatest benefits of EVs is the fact that they have so few moving parts. We're talking under 40 moving parts in this car. There's a lot less things to go wrong. There's a lot less maintenance. If you keep these cars for a long time, there's some really significant savings. If we look at how much it costs to run the car, the Canadian average fuel economy. Transport Canada, it's 11 liters per 100 kilometers is the average fuel efficiency. If you drive a car that's like that and you get into this car, it would be like buying your fuel at 26 cents a liter. So what about the environment? In 2019, with our current electrical mix in the province, electric vehicles pollute up to 55% less than a comparable gas vehicle. Now, if we start thinking in the future and if we start looking at what's planned in the future, we're gonna have more and more renewable energy that's gonna come onto our grid. And that means that this electric vehicle will pollute less and less over time. Nova Scotians have a lot of questions about EVs. Where do they go to find the information? There's a wonderful website. It's called evassist.ca, and that's your one-stop shop for anybody that's looking for information on EVs. Made it to Sydney. Now it's your turn to test drive this car. Check out nextrideNS.com to see an event coming by your community in the near future.